What's up guys? Hybrid Mangoes coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go. And today I want to talk about one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to PvP and that is PvP IVs and what is the best thing to use for PvP. Now that is the biggest misconception like I said that I'm seeing pretty much everywhere. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say what? Uh, you don't want to use a 98% IV for PvP? Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. That is <laughs> so I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm seeing it on social media. I'm seeing it on Twitter. Oh, I got 100% that I'm waiting to use for PvP, this, that, and the other thing. And what if I told you that that's the opposite of what you want to do for IV-wise? Now, when it comes to PvE, you want good Pokemon. And actually, I would even go as far as saying that PvE IVs matter more than even Pv PvP IVs. So when you do PvE and you're trying to do a solo raid or you're trying to do a duo raid and you're trying to do, doing something very specific and you want to make sure like trying to solo a Machamp or solo Alakazam or duo a whatever, right? Duo a Garatina. Whatever you're doing, PvE you know, it does seem to really matter that 15 attack stat and powering up this Pokemon, that matters so much. But for PvP, it's not that big of a concern. It will give you a slight edge. Let's explain what I'm talking about. So, as you guys can see on the screen here, there is a screenshot of a 100% Aerodactyl. So I'm using Kalki IV, and if you don't use Kalki IV and you have Android, that's what you should definitely use. And this is the big important stat we're looking at. You can see PvP CP, you can see that it will get to 1471, which is not that good for Great League, and then it'll be level 18.5, okay? So that's a perfect IV. And this is why I'm saying this is a huge misconception because people think that they want 98% or 100% or something that would typically be good in PvE is not good in PvP. So now let's look at the shiny Aerodactyl. And that is right, I am flexing on you fools. <laughs> the shiny Aerodactyl, you can see the range is 51 to 60%. It's not that good, it's not that good. But take a look at the PvP CP. It gets to 1495, five CP away from being the top, you know, 1500 for Great League. And then it gets to level 20. So it has, let's see, it's got like three or four more power-ups than the actual perfect one. So this shiny Aerodactyl that's probably like 55% or something is better for PvP, even that 100% Pokemon. So my point is, is attack is a very weighted stat. So the higher the attack is, when you power it up, it gains CP faster, right? Its CP goes up quicker. The problem with that is in PvP, you want to get the most levels possible and you want the CP to be as close as to 1500 as possible as well. So basically what I'm telling you is that the level of the Pokemon and the CP of the Pokemon matter more than just that attack stat alone. Perfect PVP IVs would be like 0, 15, 15. And yes, I did just say zero attack. <laughs> and this is the best way I can explain it is with pictures, showing exactly how you would do it, you know, and if you don't have Calc IV, I mean, Seriously, get it if you're on Android. If you're on uh, an Apple or uh, you know iPhone, you can use Go Stadium to kind of look up the app, look up the actual like rankings and all that other stuff. But so basically, what I'm saying is everybody's been doing it wrong. <laughs> I keep seeing people all over the internet going like, "Oh, I got a 98%," and you know, I want to bring more people to PvP, obviously, and it's something. This is something that people don't know. And I do think it's a good thing for Niantic to do this type of thing because then you have a Pokemon that you normally wouldn't use in any situation you would think is complete trash and it actually is worth something and actually good in PvP. So this also does bring new light to all of those shinies that you just are probably going to transfer anyway one day. You know, say you got a, you know, five attack Blast shiny Blastoids, right? That five attack shiny Blastoids is probably going to be pretty okay in, in PvP, you know. And and now going back to what I said at the beginning of this video, that PVE stats matter more than PvP. If your friend, if you have a friend that you're losing to all the time, and you're like, oh man, it was because I didn't have the right IVs. That's why I've been losing. That's, that's probably not why you're losing. <laughs> I, I have to say you need to practice more uh, to actually beat your friend because. PvP is, is more about matchups and counters to each other rather than 
uh, actual IVs. If you have the same Pokemon as somebody else, you may have a slight edge, but you know, put it this way, in the last cup video that I did, none of those Pokemon were 0, 15, 15. In fact, I didn't have any perfect IV PVP, like perfect PVP IVs. I didn't have a single one, and I got for, you know, I tied for first place in that cup. I'm telling you right now that the, the PVP IVs, they matter to a degree, but they don't matter as much as PVE because it's going to give you a slight edge, but it's not going to be like a win, you know, make or break situation like it would be for PVE. Bad IVs for PVE obviously means you don't beat the raid, you don't solo the raid, you don't win. PVP is, like I said, more about matchups, it's more about skill. If you're not switching at the right times, if you're not you know, countering things right time, if your your team doesn't have good enough coverage, that's not gonna change anything if you have better IVs. So, you know, yes, it will give you a slight advantage, but it won't be a make or break thing. You still have to use your skill, you still have to use your right timing, you still have to use your right coverage, and it, it you know, it still matters. And I actually do like that fact that the IVs don't play that huge of a part in PvP, because if it did, it would go against what Niantic was really doing. And really what Niantic was doing was saying, hey, these good Pokemon that are like 96% IV, those are for PvE. These other ones that are terrible, <laughs> that you would typically throw away and have like three attack are better for PvP. Yes, that's why I knew I needed to do this video. I, I was like, all these people are getting it wrong. And like, I'm not an expert at PvP. I don't claim to be. I, you know, if anything, I got really super lucky on my first cup <laughs> and actually got first place. You know, who knows, I'm gonna do another cup probably towards the end of this month, and we'll see if I can actually get first place again in Jungle Cup. I have been practicing like crazy. And also, you guys know that uh, the Switch mechanic that was out there for P PvP, they actually took that away. Uh, which, um, I think people really overreacted over it, but I'm okay with it being back to the old way. I was good either way. Um, I did like the fact that I w people weren't getting free damage on me, but it did take away some of the skill aspects of PvP. So I'm fine. I was fine either way. I was fine either way. I'm glad. I'm ultimately I'm glad that Niantic listened, and they actually reverted the switch change back to the way it was. So that's really good. So yes, basically this is a public service announcement to let you guys know: stop powering up your 100% IV Pokemon for PvP. Save that dust. Use it on your trash Pokemon. <laughs> if you don't have Kalki IV and you're on Android, get it today because it shows you, it even shows you the evolved CP as well. So if you're like a Bell Sprout and you're like, okay, what level would this get as a Victory Bell? It will tell you that. Um, so that's, that's huge information that you need to know for PvP specifically. Um, and, and also, I hope this video stops people from wasting dust, like I said, on Pokemon that is good for PvE, but not for PvP. So if you, if this video was helpful to you, please share it out, uh, you know, share it to your local Discord, share it to your local battlers, and let them know that, hey, you guys are not doing it the right way. <laughs> you guys should be looking at the, the, you know, the attack stat in a different way with PvP. And I think it does, like I said, I'm glad that Niantic did it in this fashion because now Pokemon that normally would be useless actually have a purpose. That is also why I really enjoy the PvP aspect of this game because, um, you know, the Sylph Road actually makes these cups, as you guys know, and it forces you, you to use Pokemon that you wouldn't normally use. And it reminds me more of the main series games where you could kind of take whatever you wanted and kind of play with it. So it is cool that you're like, hey, I have a Noctowl for Jungle Cup. It actually is useful. As where outside of Jungle Cup and outside of PvP, that Noctowl would be useless. So I definitely want to do a video on why you should care about PvP and basically like a beginner's guide on what you should do and like I said I'm a noob still I'm still learning uh, but I have I have accelerated my knowledge of PvP and skill by leaps and bounds um, you know I want I got first place in a cup with less than a hundred wins in Great League so I don't know how anybody else could say that <laughs> so so anyway guys that is gonna do it for the video remember to share this video if it helped you to all your friends smash that like button subscribe and join the mongoose gang today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.